Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video we're going to talk about how to play Google Play games on Windows 11 using the official Google method. So for those of you who don't know, Google is officially launching a beta program that will allow you to play Google Play games on your computer and you can do that on Windows 10 and Windows 11. So those are one of the minimum requirements but of course we're going to talk about this in depth in this video. So if you enjoy videos like these please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. So to get Google Play games, of course, you're going to have to go into the official Google website, which is play.google.com slash Google Play Games, and you're going to be able to get the better version. But of course, we're going to have to, first of all, check the minimum requirements. So as you can see, the minimum requirements, Windows 10 version 2004, an SSD is recommended. And from what we can see here, this will mainly work on Intel processors because it is designed for certain integrated Intel graphics cards and also some games require an Intel CPU, also memory, 8 gigabytes of RAM, Windows administrator account and also hardware virtualization enabled which you can enable from the BIOS. So just go ahead and get the better version and let's install this. First of all, it's going to download this. And of course, one thing that I didn't mention, you're going to need to be logged in into your Google account to get this better version. So that's something that should be known already. After the downloading process is finished, the installation process will begin. And after the installation process is finished, the official Google Play Games beta will be opened up and you will be able to sign in with Google, of course, to have access to this. And of course, first of all, you're going to have to create a profile. So for example, let's create a profile text-based, create the profile, accept the terms and conditions, of course, and then finish. So as you can see, this is pretty well designed in my opinion. You can just go to library to see all the available games from here. I think these are games that you had installed before on your devices that were linked to that Google account. But of course, you can go into the all games section and search for the games that you want to install. Be aware that not all games from Google Play Store are available here because they are trying to allow only the games that are optimized for running properly on Windows to be played. So as it is a better program, of course, you won't have all the games available. So for example, let's install something, for example, chess, play and learn just because it is a smaller app, I think, and it won't take as much time to download and install. And as you can see, our game was installed and we also get a notification from Google Play Games. So now let's play the game. Let's see how this is working. So we click on that. We can again sign in with the Google on this game. And once we set up the game, we can play it very easily. So now let's just go play online and start a game so that we can see that this is working. So as you can see, we're playing chess online. I think this is pretty nice that we have access to a list of games inside Windows using the Google Play game better program. I think this is something that you could try and of course send feedback to Google if you have the time to check out certain issues that you're facing and stuff like that. But in my opinion, this is something that is very, very nice. And I'm really glad that Google is doing this program. So basically, this was the video for today. I hope you liked it. Of course, don't forget to check out play.google.com slash Google Play Games if you want to check out this better program for Google Play Games. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Jumani from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.